I'm going to read Genesis 1 through 19. <clears throat> Let's just say a prayer. Father God, we just thank you so much for what you've already done today, Lord. Filling our heart with joy, inspiration, courage, Lord God, faith, Lord God, hunger. Thank you for um, allowing us the opportunity to experience you. Thank you, Father God, for honoring your people for what they have done excellently in the eyes, Lord. Thank you for receiving our worship, Lord. Thank you just for receiving us, Lord. We receive you. Now, we come humbly, Lord. We just prepare ourselves to hear the word of God, Lord God. Pray that whatever shared, Lord God, that Holy Spirit, you would take the words, take the lesson, Lord, and uh, help it to be applied to everyone's personal walk, Lord God, where it can be practical, Lord God. Pray that you would give understanding, knowledge, and wisdom, Lord, where I fail to do so, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that this word to shine light on, on us, Lord God, on what you called us to do, who you called us to be, and what you called us to carry. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So I'm reading the King James Version. And it's Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 1. I'm going to read 1 through 19. The, fo the focal point is going to be 14 to 19. I'm going to read from the beginning. It says... In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in himself, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. In the evening and the morning with the fourth day. So as I was reading this this week, um, I believe God just shared this. He really had me focus in on verse 14 and 15 and 16. And uh, that's going to be the focal point today as we talk about light bearers. Light bearers. Now, it's interesting. I wanted to read the, um, from the beginning because in from the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. And we see that. God's creation was in a chaotic state. It was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. It was a, in a chaotic state. And it was out of the original order that God intended for it to be in. But we also see that the Spirit of God was also present. Which means that God was present 
to perform. God was present to restore. God was present to, to create or recreate. But before he did anything, before he formed a tree that had a seed in it, you know, before he formed the earth that we could stand on, before he separated the seas and the firmaments, before he did that, the first thing that he did was release light. Release light. So we understand how important light is to the earth. Light isn't light is an illuminatory property. Okay? The Bible says that anything that makes manifest is light or clear or obvious. In 1 John chapter 2, it says that we would stumble unless we had seen the light. So the light can help someone not be in darkness, obviously. The light can um, help us not to stumble over things that we can't see or understand. Like The light can shine and cause darkness to hide under a shelf. See, if we have the light off, then darkness can what? Permeate this entire atmosphere. But if I turn the light on, then darkness has to flee because light is greater than darkness. Mm -hmm. You look under that shelf, you see darkness hiding under that shelf. You see darkness hiding in the closet mm -hmm. because it can't exist where light is present. Mm -hmm. So before God did anything, he released light as an illuminatory property, but not just as an illuminatory property, not to just to shine a brilliance so things can be seen. You know, we know that if you, you learn in science that the light of the sun energizes and gives life to all creation. Mm -hmm. So not only did he release an illuminatory property of brightness, but he released life into the earth. Like mm -hmm. He released the essence of life. Now, it's funny because when you read this, it doesn't say that God created light. And when you read the rest of the days of his creation, it says that he created the tree or he formed the man. Or he, he gathered together this. He created this. He created that. But what it says, it says in verse 3 that God said, let there be light and there was light. See, he didn't need to create something means to make something from nothing. Mm -hmm. But we know that mm -hmm. light already existed because God is light and in him is no darkness. Mm -hmm. So there was, need, there was no need for him to create something from nothing because light already existed. Mm -hmm. All God needed to do was release light in a place where it wasn't. Mm -hmm. He said, let there be light. In other words, light already existed in heaven where God is mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. God is light. Mm -hmm. But what God did was give light permission to be there. Like mm -hmm. he gave light the permiss he gave light permission to be on the earth. Mm -hmm. Like what, what did God oh, really do God. in essence? God released himself on that's earth. It, that's mm -hmm. it. God said, no longer am I just going to be in heaven, but I'm going to allow myself to be on oh, earth Jesus. where the darkness is. Like, yes. Isn't that a blessing to know that God is not afraid of your dirty places? Mm. Isn't it a blessing to know that God is not afraid of the dark areas of your life? Yes. Isn't it a blessing to know that where things isn't formed or shaped properly or there's void or lack in your life, that God is not intimidated? Mm. He's not afraid. He's not afar off. He's willing to get down and dirty into your mess Amen. and bring light into your darkness. Amen. The loving God that we serve. Amen. God is a provider. Amen. 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 The scripture says that the, the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus shines in the dark areas of our life. My sister prayed that so eloquently earlier. Like God, shine a light on the dark places of our lives. Why are we so reactionary? Why am I so easily angered? Why do I always feel like I got to prove myself? Why do I feel insecure when I'm around other people that might know more than me? Why? I don't even know why I get so angry at a 10. It's for something that's not even that big of a deal. And God can shine a light and say, listen, this is why. Like, You got an unresolved issue with your mother from way back then. Like, you got an unresolved issue with this person. Like, And God can shine a light where you can see what is causing you to stumble. Yes. So God released the light. Like Not only did he release light and life, but he released righteousness. Mm -hmm. I believe that 
the darkness that was upon the face of the deep happened to be the one that fell from heaven previously. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. We know that he fell from heaven. Yes. Right? And he brought darkness upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because he was on the earth, there were some things that God had to bring into alignment. So when he he said, let there be light, he also was saying, let there be righteousness. Like, yes. Let there be truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from this day forward, Jesus had an assignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before he was ever formed in a belly, like, you know, before there was ever a prophecy that he would come. <coughs> when God said, let there be light, mm -hmm. Jesus had an assignment. Amen. 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 So Jesus is the light of the world. Like uh -huh, uh -huh. He is the light and life of the world. And the Bible says in John chapter 1, He gives light to every man that comes into the world. Yes, right. In other words, a person, even an atheist, Jesus yes. is their light. Yes. Because he's the one that gave them consciousness. Right. Mm -hmm. He's the one that made them aware. In him we move and breathe and have our being, whether you choose to acknowledge it or not. Mm -hmm. right. He is the breath of life on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. So Jesus is the light of the world. Right? Yes. But it's funny because when we go down to verse 14... We see God talking about bringing light forth again. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament. But hold on, God, I thought you already said, let there be light. So what are you talking about in verse 14 that you're saying, bring light in the firmaments again? You already released light. You already released that illuminatory property that causes the sea. You already released righteousness and truth. Hmm. You already released life. That brings photosynthesis to all of our cell and energy. You already did that. So now what are you talking about right here in verse 14? Mm. So when I looked up that word light, it's the word maor in the Hebrew. M-A-O-R. And the word means light or light bearers. Like. Mm. One of the translations said that God said, let there be light bearers. Mm. In other words, the sun, the moon, and the stars. The vessel that contained the light. Mm. They are not that light. God already released the light, but then he created vessels that can contain the light mm. that God released in the earth. Amen. And he called those containments or those carriers light bearers. Mm. Amen. Light bearers. And it was a blessing that God started ministering to me because... What I perceive, the reason that God had me, you ever just read the scripture and then just the Holy Spirit just make you focus in on one scripture and you don't know why. You just be meditating yeah, yeah, for yeah. 15 minutes and then it, it begin to unravel. Mm -hmm. And I really mm -hmm. feel like what God is saying is that I've called you to be light bearers. Like, yes. I already released the light into the world as <laughs> Jesus Christ. But now I need some containments mm -hmm. for the light I already released. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need some vessels that can contain Jesus. Mm -hmm. Listen, I praise God for a gift of the Spirit. It's a blessing. I praise God for an anointing. That's a blessing. I praise God. But I believe that God is calling us to something more. Like He don't want us to just settle for a gift of the Spirit. Or natural talent that we can use for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. He don't want us to just settle for an anointing that can come upon us and we can be used for God. I believe that God wants us to be light bearers. I believe that God, His intention is for us to carry His presence. Us for us to carry the person of Jesus, mm -hmm. not just an empowerment like mm -hmm. yes. to share Jesus wow. with people. The person of Jesus, mm. not just information about Jesus, mm. right. not just the testimony about what Jesus did for me, Amen. Mm -hmm. but it will be said about us that we, we will be the word made flesh, that when people meet us, they'll know what Jesus is like. Amen. Amen. That's what God is looking for, mm. light bearers. Amen. So I'm going to just talk a little bit about some of the, the key points that I got out of that about what a light bearer is. Luke 10, 21 and 22. 
Luke 10, 21 and 22. says, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man, and, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father. And who the Father is but the Son. And he to whom the Son will reveal him. Praise God the Holy Spirit had the children learn the scripture that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by him. No. And in 1 John chapter 2 it says you, can't, you cannot have the Father without the Son. Why? Because Jesus said I and my Father are one. Amen. Amen. You can't have the Father without the Son because they're one. Amen. Amen. But I like this because it shows the <coughs> unique relationship that the Father has with the Son. Jesus has Jesus has the most unique relationship with the Father. Right. You know they've been together since the eternities past, and Jesus like man nobody knows the Father like me. I've been in creation with him of all the worlds and all the universes from the beginning. I come out of his bosom. I'm the heart, the grace and truth of our Father. Nobody knows him like me. And, and listen what Jesus says. And whoever I reveal him to. Mm -hmm. This is why Jesus said, when you see me, you've seen the Father. like mm -hmm. Because God has purpose that I could reveal him to you. Now, we, we are the body of Christ, and we exist inside of Christ. So, you know, as Jesus had the assignment as a son to reveal the Father, so also we have that unique assignment. And I love this scripture because Jesus didn't say, nobody knows the Father like me. He used it parabolically because it can be used for any of God's sons. Amen. He said, nobody knows the Father like the Son, and nobody knows the, the Son like the Father. Mm -hmm. That means that nobody will know God the way you do. Yes. Mm -hmm. That means that each person that God ever created has a unique relationship with Him that no one will ever have like that yes. ever. Yes, yes. That's how big God is. Amen. Amen. That out of, out of billions and billions of people that God ever created, he never made two people exactly the same, but he made all these billions and billions of people in his image. Yes. But none of them are the same. That's how big the God we serve. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how God can spoil the child and make you feel like you're the most special child yes. in the eyes of God. <laughs> and nobody and nobody's favorite by God. Mm -hmm. But everybody feel like they God's favorite. Yes. yes. That's what the scripture is saying. You know? You will, God will give you an experience and you like, man, you will feel like you got to tell the whole world because you want everybody to experience God like you know. Mm -hmm. You know? Sometimes we can get a little prideful there, you know? Mm -hmm. We like, listen, I got to tell you what God did for me. He'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but the blessing of it is God give everybody something unique. Like, you have a vision. You have a dream. You hear from heaven. You see an angel like. He gives everybody these unique experiences. And then you have the privilege to reveal that aspect of God that nobody's ever experienced. Amen. Nobody ever experienced that but you. Mm -hmm. And you have the opportunity to reveal that side of the Father. Yes. <clears throat> Come on now. That'd be a whole blessing. You understand? Amen. So Amen. as light bearers, 
The reason I said that because as light bears, our ultimate goal is that we can say, when you see me, you've seen the Father. Mm. Yeah. I'm not that light, but I'm a light bearer. I, I'm called to carry that light. Amen. Yes. I don't, I don't got to take a flashlight and shine it on you like that, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> but if I just be, if I just let yeah. there be light in me, yes. then that light can have a life of his own and shine on you. Amen. Yes. Will you carry that light for the Lord? Yes. Praise God. Y'all already doing it. Praise God. Amen. So the next point is um, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. It's just a little scripture. Believe it or not, I'm on this one. <laughs> Acts chapter 1 verse exactly Acts verse 8 Jesus said but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you has the Holy Ghost come upon anybody in here? Yes. Well, consider you've already received power. Amen. But you shall receive power after that thou be witnesses mm-hmm. unto me, mm-hmm. both in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Mm-hmm. You'll be a witness for me. Mm-hmm. What is he saying? You a light bearer, like. Light bears. You will be a witness for me, like. Mm-hmm. Your witness will be me. Your witness won't be what you heard T.D. Jake say, I thank God for him. Your witness won't be what you heard somebody else witness about the angels. Like The witness you're going to share is Jesus himself mm-hmm. on the inside of you. Would you let him do it? Amen. 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 All right, amen. I've got empowered to be witness for Jesus Christ, which is the truth personified, John 14, 6. Truth is not just information. It's a person that gives light yes. to the world. We are called to carry that truth. Right. My next point, and this is all based on Genesis chapter 1 as well. Can you read that back? Truth is not information. Oh, truth is not just information, but it is a person. Jesus said, I am the truth. Yeah. So truth is not just information. It's person <laughs> that gives light to the world. We are called to carry that light and carry that truth. Truth personified. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So, based on the characteristics of what it says in Genesis, I'm just going to revelate off of it. He said, let there be lights, this is verse 14, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. So these, 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 the moon, the sun and moon and the stars, they carry the light that God already released, but their purpose is to divide the day from the night. Mm -hmm. Come on now. To cause separation. God said, put difference between clean and unclean, holy and unholy light. Come on now. And if we just carry the light, it's not something that we have to do. Mm-hmm. We try to separate, like, you know, somebody say something wrong, we try to separate for them. We try to correct them. Mm-hmm. And if that's somebody's measures, praise God. But if you hear God is saying that, that doesn't have to be your measure, like, we don't have mm-hmm. to work hard to try to separate everything for everybody. Oh, they don't understand. Correct everybody. God's saying, I want you to carry something. That's gonna correct people in and of itself. Yes. Come on, Jesus. Something that the light in and of itself is gonna separate day and night. For wow. Yes. I want you to carry something that you don't have to preach a, a conviction. Amen. They'll be convicted by what you carry. Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Cut. Would that's you do it for him? Can he revelate? Come on now. Come on. Light separates day from night. The day represents all that is God, pleasing and useful. This is what God affirms and sustains. That's verse. That's Genesis one four. What did God say in Genesis one four? Anybody have it? I got it. Genesis one four says, "And God saw the light, and it was good. that it was good." Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. Mm-hmm. So day represent the light. 
But God said that when he saw the light, that it is good. Mm -hmm. He said that, which means that he affirmed what he saw. Yes. Mm -hmm. He came, he, he affirmed it. He said amen to it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said amen to the light and yes. to the goodness and to the day. Yes. yes. So that's why I said light separates day from night. Mm -hmm. The day oh, represents all that God, all that is good, pleasing, and useful to God. Mm -hmm. It is what God affirms and he himself sustains that life. Yes. Ooh, come on now. Amen. Amen. This is done by teaching and by example. Yeah. Acts chapter 1 verse 2. When they, when they thought about Jesus, they said, this is, the, this is the history of all that Jesus did and taught. Mm. So we're not just going to share the light by trying to teach people about righteousness. Mm -hmm. Like, but the way that we are, like, wow. yes. the things that we do, the simplicity of our obedience like, yes. and our worship, Jesus. the light of God is going to shine through it. Yes. yes. And that light is going to separate Ooh. in people's lives what is good and useful and pleasing to God. Amen. Yes. That's good. Thank you, Lord. People are going to become aware of the goodness of God in their life and what's yes. pleasing in God's sight. Wow. Okay. Without me or somebody having to preach 47 hours to you, was good and pleasing to God's sight. Amen. You're going to become aware of it by the light. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. This is done by teaching and by example that the Father Himself affirms and sustains in men's hearts by Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, you ever share something with somebody and then you'd be nervous, you think somebody else is going to share something with them to. To, to sway them off what you believe Holy Spirit told you to share. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or discourage them or deceive them. Mm -hmm. When you get deceived, the enemy comes steal the seed that God planted in your heart. Yeah. Yeah. The enemy try to convince you that God didn't say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a deception. You understand? Yeah. But we're just talking about that as God uses to carry this light and as the light separate the goodness of God in people's light from the enemy, that God will affirm the thing that is good, like, mm -hmm. and he will sustain it by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You don't got to keep checking up on them, make sure they are right. Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is going to sustain it, that goodness. Come on now. Yes, yes. By Come, his on. Spirit. Come on. And we know the Holy Spirit can do a much better job than we can. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Y'all all right? Yes. All right. That's a blessing. Now, this was a good thing. I, I like this. In verse 14, it says, it says, after it says that the, the light of the firmament in the heaven to divide the day from the night, the next thing it says that these light bearers would do. And let them be for signs. Mm -hmm. Come. Mm. Notice he says, let them. So we know that that's not singular. He's not talking Ooh. about using one superstar yes. in the kingdom of yeah, God. Yeah. I thank God for the heroes of the faith. Mm. We thank God. They inspire us daily. I'm about to go back but to the day if I had a time. It's, it's not, throw it at them. The heroes of the faith is not God saying, I'm only using special people. The heroes of the faith is, are an example that God, I can use ordinary people. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Amen. God want to use all of us. Mm. Come on now. He said that what? The light bears them. That means it's more than one. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And let them be for what? Signs. Yes. So the light bearers are for signs. Like This is the note I have. Light bearers will be useful for signs. Signs are indicators. They point a given direction to people. But they also advertise things to come. Yes. Light bearers, like lighthouses, like a, the city of Jerusalem set on a hill, will be a guide to some on their journey. Mm -hmm. They will carry the words that will become a lamp to people's feet. Mm -hmm. Through them, destinies will become clear, and the path and the path will be. And is made straight. Yes. I didn't want to say is, but the Holy Spirit kept. He wanted me to say is because it is already done. Yes. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. 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 So they will carry the words that will become a lamp 
to people's feet. Through them, destinies will become clear and the path will be and is made straight. Yes. All right. Light bearers are ministering spirits that help others navigate through wilderness and valley seasons to their promised place in God. Wow. Would you do it for Jesus? Jesus. Yes. Yes. The last note I had is light bearers serve as a prophetic symbol, a sign, an indicator. A light bearer <laughs> serve as a prophetic symbol that nothing is impossible with God. Mm. Their lives, your lives, will reflect the sufficiency of God's grace and His divine provision. Mm -hmm. So as a light bearer, you're not just going to give somebody a prophetic word about Jehovah Jireh. The Lord is going to provide for you. Your life as a light bearer has now become the prophecy life. Mm -hmm. Your life is speaking on what God want to do in somebody else's life. Wow. Amen. Jesus. Which Come means on. that as light as light bearers, Jesus. we might be put in dark situations. Yes. <laughs> Come on. As a light bearer, you might be in a situation where you have to go without. Hmm. Because your neighbor is also going without, but your life should be his light. Jesus. Hallelujah. Your light should reveal to him that, that God no. can sustain you. Yes. And he's not without hope. Hmm. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Light bears are for signs. Amen. And the obvious thing is that God will use us for signs and wonders and miracles. Yeah. yeah. To be a supernatural testimony of who Jesus is. Amen. Amen. Y'all all right? Yes. Lord, have mercy. All glory to God. All right. So the next thing it says, it says, and let them be for signs and what else for seasons yes. Yes. and for days and for years yes. my sister said listen I can't go a day without hearing from God like, because I don't even know what I'm going to do uh -oh. you ever start feeling lost in your walk with God because you don't even you, you don't even know where you at with God mm -hmm. you don't even know what season you in mm -hmm. you're like God I don't just tell me what you want me to do right. now, and I'm going to do it. Okay. But I don't even really know what I'm supposed to be doing in this so. season. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The prophet, like, it's a season of harvest. And you're like, you're like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I, I receive it. <laughs> but the light bears of be for seasons and for days and for years. What does that mean? Yeah. Light bears will interpret divine seasons for those that have an ear to hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a time and place mm -hmm. for everything. As the Bible says, there is a time and a place for everything under the sun. Ecclesiastes 3.1. Come on mm -hmm. now. By this, hearers will know how they ought to respond. Oh. Acts 2.41. It was something going on in the spirit realm. God released his power. God released his presence. And a lot of people didn't, they couldn't identify what, what God was doing in this season. But God called a light bearer named Peter to stand up mm -hmm. and to shine a light and to be able to separate what season it is for the people. He began to revelate about what God was doing, what prophecies was being fulfilled, what could they expect to come. Mm -hmm. And their response was, what do you want us to do? Mm -hmm. And Peter, under the, under the leading of the Holy Spirit, was able to give them direction of how they should respond to what God was doing. Mm -hmm. May it be true in every each and every one of your lives. Amen. 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 It says, verse sixteen, and God made two great lights. Mm -hmm. It's my last two. My last point. Verse sixteen. Last two points. And God made two great lights. The greater light to uh, rule the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the lesser light to rule the night. Yes. yes. And he made the stars also. Mm. Now that's a prophetic revelation of the Father, Son, and the body of Christ. 
the body of Christ are as the stars. Amen. Jesus mm -hmm. reflects the moon. Okay. And God the Father is the sun. Wow. We know that the sun is the essence or the source of the light that we experience on, on earth. We know that the moon is a vessel that reflects light. Wow. The moon itself doesn't give off any light. Right. Yes. But it only reflects the light of the yes. sun yes. in a dark place. Come on. Yes. Yes. Our God is light and in him is no darkness. And he dwells in a place where there is no darkness. Yes. That's called heaven. But Jesus made a choice to be a vessel of light. Yes. To come into a dark earth. Mm. To be like the moon. To he, to reflect the light of Father God from heaven mm -hmm. into a dark earth. Yes. Wow. Amen. Amen. So, I just had to share that revelation because it always was a blessing to me. Yeah. But the interesting thing I want to, how does that relate to us? The first part I want to say is that light bearers are called to rule. Mm -hmm. He set these vessels of light to rule the day and rule the night. Yeah. So our purpose in the kingdom of God as light bearers is to rule the earth, not for God, but with Him. Yes. That's right. Yes. Come on now. That's good. We're joint heirs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And just Come as on. we participate in Jesus' <laughs> suffering, like my sister shared, we want to be like Christ, but Christ hurts. Mm. You know? The, last week I felt so burdened in the morning like after we had the last fellowship I felt so burdened in the morning and I started to try to pray it off like God give me peace you take this burden but then as God been revealing to me about relationships I thought about it different I realized because I was hurting because I felt like the body is so divided over our personal preferences in God we're so divided over how God taught us to operate. The Bible says it's different operations. Like, right? mm -hmm. you know, you might have a gift of healing, you too, but you might operate totally different. Right. And to me, that's the beauty of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for you two to argue about which one do healing, mm -hmm. right? Let's just praise God that people are getting healed. Yes. 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 You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 was, I felt hurt, like, dang God, why we, so, why we can't just come together and love Jesus together? Like, I just felt like that. And I felt hurt. And I started to pray it off. But then as I thought about my relationship with Jesus, I realized that he also be feeling the same way. Mm. I thought, dang, imagine how Jesus felt every day. Mm. The Bible says it's, he loves that brothers can dwell together in unity. It's pleasing to God. Mm. And we can come together and be united. So how, imagine how Jesus felt that he died for us to be the body and we can't even come together Oh my Lord! So yeah. I realized that that burden I felt wasn't mine, mm -hmm. and I, I I can't carry that burden. But I took a moment to share it with Jesus mm -hmm. because we're in a relationship. Hallelujah. If He can share the blessings and all His revelation, yeah. His wisdom, yeah. why well, can't take a moment and let myself be touched by His infirmity? Yes. We focus on how He touched by our infirmity, wow. but can we take a moment and be touched by what He touched by? Like, mm -hmm. like my sister was saying, like. Can, and you used to always pray this, and it blessed me. Can we ask God to break our heart for the things that break His heart? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Wow. So I just, Amen. Praise the Lord. That's right there. So I just think about that. You know what I mean? And we, as we suffer with Christ, uh, the blessing is that we'll also reign yes. with Christ. Yes. That's what it is. So there's no occasion of pride. We're not reigning for Christ and we got all the authority. No. We, we, we're laboring together with God. That's the content of our authority. Because we're working together with the one that is authority. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 So we call to rule, reign, have authority, dominion over the light and darkness. Light. All right. So it's some good things going on in your life and God calls you to be a good steward over those things. Your gifts, your talents, the, your purpose, the revelation he's given you. But it's also some dark things in our life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can be challenged with strongholds and different crazy ways yes. of thinking or some sin or burden or sin. flesh, whatever yeah. it may right. be. But God said that you called to rule that stuff too. Like, mm -hmm. right? And not yeah. it rule you. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Come on. Because he empowered us to do uh -oh. it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And my last point, really blessed me right here. 
about the, <laughs> the greater light and the lesser light. Mm -hmm. Some lights are greater than others. God is the giver of light. Some lights will be given for the day and some for the night. Mm -hmm. now listen what the Lord gave me. The light of the day is the supernatural. The walk of the spirit. The light of the night will be for those carnal in mind that cannot discern or not ready to receive mm. spiritual things. Wow. Mm. This is the light of testimony. Wow. Both are great lights, but one is greater. Mm. So we believe we believe in the supernatural power of God. Yes. To heal instantly. Mm. To deliver instantly. We believe in the power of Jesus. Yes. Supernaturally, we yes. believe that, and we know that God has called us to walk in the Spirit, mm -hmm. not to glory in that we're supernatural, but God called us to be above and not beneath. Mm -hmm. He set these luminaries in the heavenlies, oh, cool. in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. We're seated in a heavenly place mm -hmm. in Christ. God wants us to operate in the spirit. Amen. Amen. But we know that some people they can't receive spiritual things as of yet, and that's okay. When we first started walking with Christ, we, we some of us thought people that speak in tongues was crazy. Like mm -hmm. we like, man, they did, what are they doing? Like, what are they even saying? Like, <laughs> because we were more carnal when we first started walking with Christ, mm -hmm. and we we didn't understand spiritual things. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for His grace that He haven't He haven't let. He haven't left those out that can't oh, discern yeah. spiritual things right. at this time. Mm -hmm. right. He still chose for a light to shine where they're at. Like yes. Amen. Amen. And that light will just be your testimony, which is supernatural, which has the power to help someone overcome. Yes. What Jesus did for you. I might can't share with you the angels I saw in the vision. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I can share you, listen, this is what... I was in a similar situation. Yeah. Yeah. This is what Jesus did for me. Like, yeah. I was depressed as well, but by the power of the Lord, He helped me show show me that I'm more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. I'm, my failures don't define me. Mm -hmm. His grace defines me. His word defines me. Mm -hmm. What Jesus died for for me to receive that defines me. I'm not what I did. I'm not my sins. I'm not even my failures. I am who I am by the grace of God. Mm. And if he did it for me, he can do it for you. Yes. Amen. So these are the lights that God will grace us to be able to carry. Jesus himself, right? the supernatural of God, and the word of our testimony. Yes. Hallelujah. Pray this word bless you, pray and encourage you Amen. to be a light bearer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Am